Dear high school self. Dear middle school self. Dear high school self. Dear high school self. Dear middle school self. Dear high school self. Dear high school self. Dear middle school self. Dear high school self. Dear high school self. Dear middle school self. Dear high school self. Dear high school self. Dear high school self. These past four and a half years between high school graduation and now, I've learned so much about myself and there's so much that I'm grateful for, but there's also a lot that I wish I had known in high school. I know that middle school was a tough time for you and you had trouble finding yourself. I can't stress enough that you should not let what other people think or say about you bother you so much. The girl you're dating, she's really great She's a good person, and you guys have a lot of fun together, but you're looking to her to fill something that she's never gonna be able to actually fill. That even though like sports and girls and like school, all that stuff is great, but at the end of the day, it's not what's gonna be that fills you. I wish she knew that fitting in with people who depend on appearance, or sport performance or relationships for fulfillment is self-defeating. Don't throw away your identity for one you think you need. I hope that you know that you are fully known and deeply loved by the creator of all life. You are beautiful and wonderfully made. And you created for a purpose. As far as relationship, if that's what you want to start, if you want to start something, it's up to you. Start a relationship with Jesus. You know a lot of nice things to say about Jesus, and you know a lot of like good stories and ways to almost sort of relate them to people about Jesus, but you don't really know what it's like to actually walk with and have a relationship with God. Mama preached it so many times and it seems like you didn't listen, but along the road, you're gonna change your whole mindset on who Jesus even is. And the best news of all is in March of 2015, our senior year, is when we begin our relationship with Jesus. Also, you're going to learn there's a, a whole new meaning to relying on God. You will have many bumps down the road. You're going to go through some pain, and sometimes it's going to feel like it's not worth it. You're not going to have all the answers. It's okay to feel down sometimes. You actually go through like some struggles and stuff. It was hard emotionally and spiritually. I, I hope you hear this. When it's hard, God's still there. And you don't have to pretend like you have it all together. When dad wasn't there, our heavenly father is there all the time, both on and off the football field. Know that nothing you do will ever pull you from God's grasp. He's holding on to you even when you don't feel like it. You're gonna be a teacher, a coach, and one day you'll be hanging out with middle schoolers and telling them about Jesus. Your 8th grade classmates vote you most likely to be in ministry. Now I'm almost convinced that they did that because they couldn't think of anything else to vote you for. But it turns out that they were right. Ministry is going to be one of the best things that you'll do with your life. So embrace that now. Another piece of advice is to speak up. Um, you tend to kind of go unnoticed and unheard. Your friends are hurting more than they let on. I wish you knew how much you have to offer them because of the gospel that you believe. And you have a really cool opportunity to be there for them and support them and sort of see through all of the high school drama and stuff that doesn't matter. And even being friends with them to show them the love of God. This is an incredible opportunity. I wish you knew not to waste it. You are so loved and valued by God and by so many of your friends. I'm beyond proud of who you are and who you were, and Jesus is even more so. Um, God has your back, and he also has a plan. Dear high school self, in 2018, we still haven't invented a time machine, which means I still can't actually tell you any of these things. But I have something better than that. See, when you're my age, you're going to get to be part of an incredible group of people from different backgrounds, with different interests, all with different stories, all impacted by God's love. And that group of people is going to be like a family to you. You'll laugh together, you'll eat together, 
you'll celebrate together. You'll be with each other in hard times. And then, as a team, you'll show up at high school campuses and middle school campuses and get to tell kids the things that you wish you heard. And it's an unforgettable life. Sincerely, Paul. Sincerely, Libby. Sincerely, Oscar. Sincerely, Madison. Sincerely, Anna. Sincerely, Luke. Sincerely, Jimmy. Sincerely, Fred. Sincerely, Molly. Sincerely, Morgan. Sincerely, Laura. Sincerely, Ian. Sincerely, Kelsey. Sincerely, Kadre. Sincerely, Zach. Sincerely, Maria.